Hello, this is Eddie Jake with another Let's Play of Zombie Army Trilogy uh, Cathedral of Resurrection. Yes, I realized while I was editing that I made that mistake multiple times. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know why. I mean, I was literally reading, and for some reason, the word just wrong words are coming out of my mouth. So, yep, sorry about that. And yeah, off screen, I killed one zombie off, and this is back on screen, so. Let's keep going, shall we? To the cathedral itself. And yep, yeah, everything should be good. No? You don't have to worry about this, or anything else. And overall, I'm just supposed to go down here. Thus, I'll be doing There's nothing really interesting except for over here. Oh, one, two, yeah. There's landmines back on a step here. Over here. And there's these guys. Oh, poor guys. And the radio that's right here, which you don't mind. You don't mind them. Stuff because I'm tired of hearing him for all hope he's lost. Alright. We kinda get it. You know? Zombies, fucking yard, people dying. The town's about to stay here. Don't get ever. Well, that's not true. You get it last. At the very end of the game is my suggestion. But the only time that thing is useful is useful and doesn't just kill you. Since if you're like me, there's a high probability of you getting yourself killed by that thing. Unless you're facing one specific enemy. Enemy type, I should say. Which it comes at the very end of the game. Which is the only time I've ever seen it on the Other than that, I would not bother. Now, you're probably wondering, why aren't you just opening the door? Well, that's quite simple, though. First, let's kill zombies. If I can hit one for some odd reason. It's like it's making fun of me. I don't know why. I mean, you can see I'm a good shot when I'm in the zone. Oh well, doesn't matter. So for now, let's just do some more killing. Well, is it technically killing because I'm killing zombies? I'm shooting zombies. They're already dead. Yes, it's still killing. But it's killing zombies. Which is okay. And they're Nazis. So you get a moral boost too. Which is quite nice. And now let's break his neck. And yeah. Okay, that guy's back there. Oh, wait. Wow, there's even more preacher ammo back there? Wow. Once again, I'm learning more, more during this playthrough than I have, have previously. During previous playthroughs of this game. Wow. I guess it's true what they do say. Best way to, well, best way to learn something is to teach it yourself. I'm teaching you guys the workings of the game. Oh god, I'm so disappointed in myself. I'm so sorry I died. I'm a complete failure. Well, you know what that means. Just go on a killing spree. No more fooling around. No more playful banter. Nice. What I just say? I said no more playful banter. No more fucking around. So now let's just kill this guy and be done with it all. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother taking the chance anymore. That's another odd thing about this game. Just because the zombie's head comes off does not mean it's dead. 
Why? Simple. It was so stupid, it didn't notice. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Yeah, no, not a good joke. I'm sorry, I'm just not in today, guys. I am just not in it. Alright, well. Let's kill a couple other zombies. Let's kill this guy. Let's kill this guy. Also, if you're wondering why I'm aiming at one place and shooting at another, simple. Gravity and wind. After all, this is Elite Sniper. With semi real world physics. I say semi because even then, this is a better day than a real sniper would have. I would say that, that all snipers are terrible. Which, well, honestly, I can't judge either way. I'm just saying. This game doesn't account for, I'm pretty sure this game does not account for all the physics that come into it. So just a random flag getting in the middle of your shot and really screwing up. You what? Now that is a beautiful shot. No, the helmet just flies off. It's just nice. And here's another one just for you. Ah, tip the skull. Well, that guy truly now knows the meaning. Just the tip. I can't believe I just made that joke. And, whoa, I got picture ammo off of him? I didn't know you could get off dead bodies. Cool. Once again, the, m the more you learn, the more you know. But with that knowledge comes power. Power to slay your enemies. And power. To die because you forgot about the sniper. Bad sniper, if you're wondering. What that meant by the sniper. Really? I feel incredibly embarrassed now. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to skip all this stuff. I'm going to let him rise out of the ground. No, well, sort of. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother. You know you get to a point where you're just tired and everything. It's just screw it. No, I try to act fancy. I try to show you guys stuff, and I am dying. And so I just make myself look like. So I just say, I'll show you guys stuff. This and that and all. It's just me di being fancy that I'm dissing. No point fancy if I'm dead. So why about? Now I'm completely wasting its ammo, like an idiot, for the creature, but I'll be saving those for later. And if you're wondering about this being fancy, this isn't, this is tactics. This, technically, is being a little bit fancy. With this with a side of fail because no zombies were near it. Now this hopefully won't be another fail. D plus! Woohoo! That's right, I grade myself. And if I may so say so myself, I'm a harsh critic. In reality, not in the slightest. I give myself way too many brownie points. And now the way I'm supposed to go, which will always be. Wait, not that guy. There you go, which I can't believe I missed. Wow, I'm just not in it today. Weird. Well, well let's keep going. Now, if you're wondering why I'm just spamming this, 
It's because there's another, um, whatchamacallit inside. And apparently, if I spam my gun too much, the sound starts to go. Great. Unaware of that, but now I know. And I'm just going to show you guys this area, which there's basically nothing in it. However, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head, I haven't looked that kind of stuff up, to be honest, which I should, but I just haven't. There is a gold bar here, if I remember properly, usually. So I'm trying to say. So yeah, but for now, a safe room. A nice, safe, safe room. With nose and ammo, with TNT, with a bunch of other stuff. Including apparently more preacher ammo, which once again makes the preacher oh so worth it. Which means I just changed my gameplay style from now on for this level. Congratulations, you have just seen the evolution of the player in the game. If I'm not liking the preacher on a certain map because it's a lie to realizing the truth behind. There's a general rule. Whenever you go to a pla place like this, you always make sure everything's plotted out right. So, yeah. Oh, almost forgot. Sorry. Silly me. There's all that. Oh, and zombies will be spawning behind me, so I will be moving throughout this entire thing. But yeah, now for another long haul. Hope you grabbed your ammo. Hope you got everything you wanted. Since for now, you're going to be dealing with stuff. That's right. I got that job. All the way back here. Now, if you're wondering if I'm going to be using that, I'll be using that later. If I need to. Since I, pref I primarily prefer to be very stingy with my explosives. Natural map explosives, if I ever use them at all. I'd rather shoot and kick my way out than blow my way out. And yeah, my, even my sound's trying to go. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what it is. If I knew how to clean it up, I would. But I just do not know. Oh look, collarbone. And just because that door is open does not mean it's time to go through. In fact, all it does mean is that it's time to throw a grenade in there. At least from my way of thinking. Now look, a skeleton, another skeleton, and a bunch of more zombies, just waiting to be blown up. So, yep, -er. that's all these guys. And now just get them close to this explosive. Oh nice, oh sweet, and all so dead. Yep, that's all that. And that's all those guys. So now kick here, a uh, shot there. Wow. I wonder, can I just... Nope, dang it. Oh wow. I have to respect that little guy. I mean, he's literally lost basically everything else. I'm trying to take off his other arm. But I can't. Ah, whatever. I'll give him the death he deserves. Well, that's not completely true. I gave him a death he didn't deserve. Eh, I would say it was slow, and it was painful. I guess he did. Eh, maybe it was still too much for mercy. Who knows? 
Who cares? And now snipers! My favorite! And deadliest form of zombie. The reason why it's my favorite is simply because I like the challenge. But I don't like dying. With, the, with that guy, I prefer to be in the back. Back here, specifically. I get a lot more view, and I don't get killed nearly as often. Now, of course, you can't just hold your breath infinitely. However, you can wait. Take a minute, take your breath, and adjust for your shot. Like a boss. Which I'm still not completely sure where that expression came from, but it's an expression people use, apparently. Oh well. Also, for those of you that didn't realize, April 30th was my birthday, so happy birthday to me! Yay! I'm now 20 years old, and I've done very little with my life. Too bad. However, I can at least say I shot a, a sniper Nazi in the face and broke its jaw. Well, in a video game, anyway. And now, here we go. Let's see. Do this. Ah, broke his arm and punctured his lung. Close enough. Dang it, I haven't gotten any up scope or up barrel shots this game. It's kind of disappointing. And yep, zombies galore behind me. Now if you're wondering why I haven't bothered going upstairs yet, that's because I'm saving it for someone special. Someone who I absolutely love to hate. That's right, a brute. But oh, if you think he's the big bad of this particular episode, you're wrong. The main big bad, or the one of the hardest guys to actually overall beat. No, the way I phrased it, overall beat. For hardest to overall to beat, to beat, is just around the corner. Well, through the door, actually. However, due to a flaw, which I'll, uh, I'll definitely show you guys later, he's pretty easy. Especially now that I have the preacher. It just makes things oh so much more delicious. But for now, let's continue on sniping these zombies. Because apparently it only takes one to four snipers to defeat an entire zombie army. Why? Because if it was an entire group of people, it wouldn't make us very good at the game. Maybe. Actually, if we pull the force, that would be pretty fun. But it would just be a different type of game. Not a first person or technically third person shooter. Is this first or third person shooter? Who oh, knows? Who cares? All that matters is I love to shoot zombies. And this is a sniper game. Everything else is basically material. Oh, and also, always, 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 if you can, shoot him when, he, when he's close to a group. Because of that kaboom. Ah, he only got one. And remember how I said there's the guy who I really hate, the brute? There he is. And the reason why I switched to the other guy is because I just don't want to go. And pull right through the eye! That's actually quite a nice shot. Then also, this guy can't exactly be a very good cover anyway, so why bother having him? Eh, I tried. I hoped I could use both of them at once. Oh well. However, this 
as you already know, is a very good one against him. So is the machine. So is the mounted machine gun, by the way, which both later appears in the game and is also the only time that thing is ever useful. So, I'll show you guys that later, though. For now, let's go to killing this guy. Wait. Checkpoint. Check everything else. Here it is. And all that. Now, the first thing you always do in this area is just go right up here. Go here. And here. If you want, you can set up traps. They're usually not necessary, but better safe than sorry. And here's his ascension out of the floor. This is an occult general. But he himself does not attack. However, he summons guys that do. Thus, he's a general. However, he and you cannot attack him himself. He's protected by magical skulls, which circle him and give him power. However, attack those skulls, wait for him to recharge, and shoot him in the head. He da He gets hurt. And the reason why this is supposed to be easier is because it's supposed to be easier to shoot the skulls with this thing, which it usually is. Apparently I'm just not having any luck with it. That's all. Just reload this. Now note, I don't know who those guys are. Now, the zombies don't disappear whenever I shoot them afterwards. They're still here somewhere. I just have no clue where they are. And yes, he does spawn those guys too. But it doesn't matter because after three hits, it's where the shield's down, he's dead, where the zombie she summons dies, and that's it. Yeah, he's usually a final boss, and yeah, of the level, that's really about it. Everything else is really immaterial because, face it, overall, he's, uh, <laughs> at least on this map, uh, map he's absolutely useless and he's kind of a joke. Other maps, he's a pain. And he's not someone to be trifled with. Well, he's to be trifled with, his minions aren't. So yeah, that was the that was the Berlin Horrors Cathedral of Resurrection. So, like if you enjoyed, please subscribe now and everything else. Have a good day, and goodbye! Oh, well, may as well give you a little sneak peek of what's next. In a Don't worry. to seek out the source of the demonic evil, you have followed a tunnel deep into the earth under Berlin. Somewhere in this sprawling underground facility lies the clue to salvation. Don't worry, I'm not playing it now. I'll play it later for you guys after I load up these two videos. I just wanted to give you guys this little sneak peek of sneak peek of what's next. So, once again, like if you enjoyed, please subscribe now. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and everything else. Have a good day and goodbye.